The next we are the next instalment for the April Theses and we're up to nationalisation of the banks and capitalist syndicates. 15. Under no circumstances can the party of the proletariat set itself the aim of introducing socialism in a country of small peasants so long as the overwhelming majority of the population has not come to realise the need for a socialist revolution, but only because sophists hiding behind mere Marxist catchwords can deduce from this truth a justification of the policy of postponing immediate revolutionary measures. The time for which is fully right. Measures which have been frequently resorted to during the war by a number of Begoy states and which are absolutely indispensable in order to combat impending total economic disorganisation and famine. Such measures as the nationalisation of the land of all the banks and capitalist syndicates or at least the immediate establishment of the control of the Soviets of workers, deputies, etc., over them measures which do not in any way constitute the introduction of socialism must be absolutely insisted on and whenever possible carried out in a revolutionary way. Without such measures which are only steps towards socialism and which are perfectly feasible economically, it will be impossible to heal the wounds caused by the war and to avert the impending collapse and the party of the revolutionary proletariat that will never hesitate to lay hands on the fabulous profits of the capitalists and bankers who are enriching themselves on the war in a particularly scandalous manner. And that ends that installment for the April Theses.